So mom and baby appear to be doing great. Often the babies will come um, too close together and then a little break in between. So um, Oh, she's so darling. She's so darling. That was a little squeak. First squeak. Good job, mama. time she ever has to go through the first baby. The first baby is usually the most difficult. And I was having some a little bit of a little bit of panic with the um seeing the little face without the sack. But um she knew exactly what to do. Oh what a sweetie pie. So Tip is a rescue, rescue kitty, and um, this is the last time she will ever have to do this. The reason, well we, sh we show this for lots of reasons, but one of them is um, to give parents a way to let their kids experience the miracle of birth without letting their own without letting their own cats have babies so please spay and neuter your own cats and if you really want your kids to witness the miracle of birth we have any some more contractions mm -hmm. number two um you can watch uh, one of the rescue cams like ours or you can um, become a foster parent for your local shelter. Both are good options. And then you can spay and neuter your own cat. Okay, so the placenta, that was her having placenta contractions. She's a pro though because she um, did the umbilical cord already. And so, um, I think we're separated here. Oh, maybe still a little bit attached. So, um, it's good for the babies to start nursing. It helps to um, stimulate more contractions. We definitely have a little... Uh, I'm thinking that this is a little Torby Tuxy, so a little tabby with ginger and a little white paws. Very cute. She is still attached to the placenta. So since mom is taking as is um, handling everything with no problem, I'm not going to interfere. Um, some of my moms, some of our rescue moms are really young and inexperienced and they um, get into a little trouble or sometimes they get a little bit exhausted and uh, have a hard time and I will help out and cut the cord and all that stuff but um, as long as the moms are doing it on their own and not having any issue then I typically don't interfere so she's doing fine on her own. So these babies will be available for adoption in eight to ten weeks. <laughs> They're getting a nice close-up of some placenta. So and then the the little bit of blood you're seeing is from the placenta. Um, totally normal. She's actually been quite clean about this. I'm just gonna. So sweet. She's 
pretty cute. Little squeaks. <laughs> I think everybody has a pretty good view right now. Expecting five kittens. Yeah, um, it would be normal for her to have contraction growls for sure. Oh, I have a stack of towels. My stack of towels is just above. Towels and I have, I'll show you on the periscope, all my supplies at the ready. Hopefully I won't need them though. So second baby could come anytime now. Sometimes they come, yep, here's the chicken fish is hanging out. <laughs> So she could start contracting again at any point. Good job, little mama. I'm so proud of you. You did so great. You did so great. We almost had a baby number one in my lap. Yes, you did a really good job. Birthing chicken is not in here. And shepherd moose is with birthing chicken. She's very neat. Alright, I'm going to end the periscope, but you guys uh, watching the periscope can... <laughs> Gratuity Dreamworks, you are a lovely cat. You guys on the periscope can tune in at tinykittens.com slash live. So go to tinykittens.com slash live and you can watch the rest of it. I need my phone so I can take some pictures and stuff. She's so cute. Number two is probably going to be coming pretty soon. So tinykittens.com slash live. <laughs>